Hello everyone, my name is Anton Pelcher. I'm an engineer and I've been building fish farms for over 10 years. In this video I will tell you about fish feeds in RAS. What are they? What do they consist of? How should the fish be fed? What is the feed conversion ratio? And what are the feeding rations? Why it's so important to be educated about feed? Firstly, feed accounts for 70% of the costs of any fish farm. Naturally, the cost may differ more or less, but it's still the major expense item. Secondly, good feed provides quality growth of your fish, lowest feed conversion ratio and fast growth, while bad feed will cause problems, obesity, the fish would even not eat it. Additionally, there is a possibility of filter clogging and abandoned dirt. In general, bad feed creates problems. For example, you have bought 2, 3, 5 tons of feed and your fish just wouldn't eat it. And thirdly, of course, the quality and taste of fish. Basically, your business is based on your customers, especially regular customers. If the quality of your fish is good, there will be a queue to purchase it. But if you suddenly switch to other feeds and the quality of the fish decreases, you can lose your entire customer base. Be sure to watch this video to the end, because I will talk about both what is feed, feed conversion ratio and how to properly feed the fish. Let's start with the basics, which is the feed conversion ratio. It explains why fish farming is one of the most profitable types of agriculture. Just imagine, to raise 1 kg of cattle, such as a beef cow, you have to spend about 10 kg of feed. To raise 1 kg of pork, you have to spend 5 to 6 kg of feed. Poultry, from 2 to 3 kg of feed. At the same time, 1 to 1 and a half kilograms of feed is enough for 1 kilogram of fish weight gain, which is actually tenfold less than the most cost-intensive type of farming, that is cattle. That's why fish is a very efficient source of investment. Let's start with understanding what the fish feeds on. In the natural environment, of course, what's found in the water. Predators eat other fish, herbivores eat algae, grass and so on, but that's not what we are talking about now. Those who rear fish in the pond feed it on whatever they want. Grain, worms… In fact, there are lots of options for pond fish food. This doesn't always result in good fish quality, feed conversion ratio and feed conversion efficiency. In RAS, the fish is fed with high-quality extruded feeds only. Let's get to the bottom of what these feeds are and what they consist of. The technology has long been known. If we are talking about extruded feeds, let's find out what extrusion is. Have you ever seen a popcorn machine? That's when air popcorn explodes out of the kernel. It basically looks like the extrusion process. The raw material is put into screws under high pressure and temperature then is broken down to its molecular composition and glued back together. This is the kind of feed sold in any pet store and fed to cats, dogs, any pets. Essentially, it's all extruded food. Fish feeds, absurd as it may seem, are almost the same as whiskers, but only for fish. And by the way, if you have ever thought of how it's possible to feed an animal with the same food all its life and how it can live, exist and still grow well, click the like to this video. Now I will tell you. So what is included into the extruded feed when you look at it in general? The first thing is fish meal, the second is grains, the third one is premixes and vitamins, and the fourth is fish oil. We take the label of one of the feeds and read fish meal, wheat, vegetable protein extracts, that is soy concentrate, corn gluten, fish oil, soy meal, hemoglobin, vegetable oil, premixes and complex of biologically active substances. Each manufacturer uses his own recipe and doesn't advertise it in detail. However, by and large, all feeds are made in approximately the same way. In addition to the fact that the feed contains everything the fish needs, it's broken down to the molecular composition, collected in pellets, and is digested as easily and efficiently as possible. 
Therefore, the fish can be fed with the same feed for lifetime, and gene only its type. Fry is fed with starter feed, grow out fish is fed with saleable feed, the brood stock is fed with special feed for the brood stock. The feeding regime is almost similar to that of any domestic animal. Let's talk about how much is the fish to be fed daily. There is a parameter called the feeding ratio, which is a percentage of fish body weight you give per day in the form of food. For example, your system has 5 tons of fish, but it can be fry or grow out fish. The fry can eat up to 10% of its weight, which means you will have to feed this fry up to half a ton of food. But if you have 5 tons of grow-out fish, most likely the feeding ratio will not exceed 1.5%, and this is only 75 kg of feed per day. How to calculate the necessary amount of feed for fish farming? For example, your farm produces 50 tons of fish a year. The amount of feed spent to farm sturgeon or trout or African catfish will be different. Why? Because there is such a parameter as the feed conversion ratio. What is that all about? This is the amount of feed the fish needs to be fed with to gain 1 kilogram. Each fish species has its own feed conversion ratio. For example, for sturgeon, the feed conversion ratio is 1.3-1.4 which means that to grow 50 tons of fish, it would take about 65 tons of feed. For trout, this feed conversion ratio is 1.1-1.2, which means you would need 55-60 tons of feed to farm 50 tons of fish. African catfish has feed conversion ratio of 1 to 1.1, which means that you would spend about 50 tons of feed a little more to farm that amount of African catfish. By the way, soon there will be a video on our channel about how exactly to feed fish, how to do it correctly. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, set the bell to be the first to see the notice and not to miss the new video report. It was Anton Pelcher and my channel on how to farm fish and earn good money from it.